So we have now produced not only our first antimatter, but our first universe matrices as well. And now we can start concentrating on getting some of our new tech done that we will need universe matrices to complete. But welcome back everybody to Dyson Sphere Program and the Dark Fog series here on YouTube. We have got a nice ring out here that's being made. A nice Dyson Swarm that we are gathering uh, some stuff up for. We're gonna need to head back to our other planet here momentarily and uh, get down another layer of the, um, grab the uh, ray receivers, maybe even two, so that we can start getting more uh, critical photons made so our antimatter can start being made more and more efficiently. We also need to take care of the excess uh, um, hydrogen that's being made over there as well. So we got a couple things we need to do, but uh, we're going to get it all squared away here soon. Let's go ahead and build... I need matrix labs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three. So we need 13 of those made. Oh, that's the other thing we need to do is we, we need to make some splitters while we're here. And then the other thing I'm curious about is why are these not making anything? They aren't getting enough, they aren't getting any magnets. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder what the, uh, what rush on magnets we've all of a sudden had. Oh, it's the, it's these here. Okay. Yeah, it's the super magnetic rings that we need more magnets for. Okay, that makes total sense. That makes total sense. Yeah, we need to probably expand our magnets out a little bit. We've expanded them out a bunch, but we probably need to do it again. Actually, if I built some, if I built some reactors here, you notice how we just get distracted so easily. I built those here. I bet I could grab from this here. Take that down. And wrap it back that way. Now what a con what a convoluted mess that is. Alright, let's put these out here. few more magnets going in. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now, hopefully that'll keep these going. Now, I was like, where is, where are all my, uh, where, where are all my magnetic coils? I have no magnetic coils. Well, that's because uh, we have we have some issues. We have some things happening. Looks like they're catching up over here as well, which is great news. Let's go ahead and put that stuff in there. Those in there. That in there. 
Why do I have cubes on me? Okay, there we go. Alright, so we got some universe cubes being made. Like I was saying at the very beginning, we get distracted very easily. We need to make 13 of these, so I need some iron. And I need some magnetic coils and some chips. And I have a little bit of, I got a little bit of stone on me so I can do that. So what's going on here? They're still missing. Wow. Still missing the, uh, the magnets. I guess that's okay. Let's go grab a little glass. We got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now we can build our tower to get our, our uh, universe matrix stuff going on. Let's go ahead and get that going. There we go. That's going to be for research. And in those go. Oh, there's no power. Of course there isn't. <laughs> okay. So we can pick our first research here of the new stuff we're going to do. You know, let's do inventory capacity. Let's just get that going. Let's get our mecha core going. Get a little more communication control. Unlock a little higher energy circuit. A little drive engine. Or drone engine, drive engine, and energy shield. And then ray transmission efficiency. And there we go. And look at that, boys and girls. We have got the... We've got some universe cubes that are being turned into research now. Don't have a don't have a lot don't have a lot of uh, a lot of antimatter coming in, but that's okay. That's all right. Okay, so we want to make some more of the splitters, and so for those, I'm going to need a bunch of cogs and some more chips. I know they aren't cogs, they're uh, gears, I believe. There we go. Perfect. That'll give us a lot of split. That'll give us a lot of splitters. <laughs> a lot of splitters. Okay. Let's see how we're doing up here with our. Okay. So yeah. See, we're running into a situation where we do not have enough critical photons coming in right now. Yep, that is a problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back to Polaris 2. We're gonna we're gonna set up a little more uh, photon uh, stuff on Polaris 2 for ourselves.
Okay, so what's going on here? Why are the... Why are there no graviton lenses getting around here? Why are there no graviton lenses on this planet? What is happening right now? Oh, there's graviton lenses there. Oh, well that would be a problem. There we go. See now, now they're now they're actually like doing way better on their their efficiency. Actually, I should probably follow those graviton lenses around the other direction. should have been doing this all along. There's so much optical grain crystal here and I pass it I passed it up. These can be taken to anywhere. I don't think so. It's a great place to like store stuff. See where the okay. There's my station there. Um, I'm gonna get some of that and some of that in there. So one nice thing about these stations when you have them out, you can target them from pretty much anywhere. just dump stuff off into them. All right. Yeah, I think making another uh, ring of these would be very, very helpful. Looks like, looks like these are making it all the way around, which is good. which is actually fantastic news. All right, so. I think doing another ring of them here would be a good idea. Of blueprints is very nice. I have not gone. 
I've not gone too crazy with it myself, but I do like using them for stuff like this. You usually have to check around just to make sure that everything's working right. But generally they work out pretty good. There we go. All right. Get those going in there. There we go. And, um... All right, so I have another, uh, I have two more columns in inventory capacity and another column on logistics. So now I can put stuff like this in there. I can have a whole column where I can just store my, my goods. Let's see, so that's the uh, interstellar and the planetary. Put those in there. I was gonna store a bunch of stuff here that I wanna store. I do want a slot for gears, finally. I do want a slot for glass. Oh, I already have a slot for glass, Never mind. I thought I did not have one for glass. I do want a slot for that as well. And uh, microcrystalline components wouldn't be bad to have in there either. Signal towers? Um, no, nah, I don't need signal towers in there right now. It would be good to have a place for rocket ammo and for regular ammo, though. <clears throat> Although, actually, I'd rather have those ships in there instead. Now I need to set these so that they have the right numbers in here. We'll do a thousand on the microcrystalline components. Do a thousand on oh you know what I may actually be able to nope we'll do a thousand on the on those as well and we'll do a thousand on on the gears and then on these we'll do I'm not sure how many of those we can fit in. Let's just go 500 for now. And same for this one, go 500. I, I, one, one thing I always wish is I wish there was a, uh, a way to just pick a number on those. Go 210 on those. 210 on those. 50 on those. And 50 on those as well. There we go. That makes life so much easier. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab out some of these because I do need I do need pretty much all of those out. Actually I don't want any of those right now. 
There we go. Perfect. So that that is a great thing. Like that a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and get the cut that off. And let's go ahead and just go around here and see what we got. sure everything progresses around that's the main thing we want to make sure it goes all the way around the planet and then we do need to go take care of that seed little logistics bots are doing so well. We're soon going to have more communication control as well. We'll be able to control even more bots. Why don't you guys go hit that? Jeez Louise, man. I swear you guys are just like dense sometimes. You 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 go for a whole big a whole big pattern and then you just miss like a whole area. I mean they aren't the smartest bots in the world. They're, they're okay. force them to build stuff by the way like I'm doing right now if you hold the left mouse button you can force them to like prioritize something But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I usually don't bother because they'll, they'll build it all eventually. But sometimes there'll be something frustrating like this back here that I really want them to build. It's like, why did you guys jump out that far ahead to build those items when you didn't build this little spot back here? coming along nicely now since we got these uh mate the graviton uh the graviton lenses over here it's working even better we're almost back home yay All right, looks like everything went all the way through. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful, okay.
Perfect. Okay, now we got two rows of these going full force for us. And we've got a... Let's check this out up here and make sure this is doing okay for us, too. Yeah. We don't have enough of those. I mean, it's making them as fast as it can. Oh, wait. Actually, these are not... What are, the, what are these doing over here? They're missing the magnetic ring. Okay, so I don't have enough magnetic rings coming in. That's got too much. These don't have the magnets coming in fast enough. And this doesn't have the iron coming in fast enough. Okay. We've got multiple issues. Hmm. Well, here's one thing we could do. Um. Let's clear that. We sort of have needed to start. We've, we've needed to start doing this here for a while. I'm going to remote demand some proliferator paint. And we are going to put down a planetary logistic here. Demand some proliferator paint when it comes in. And then we're going to start proliferating all this stuff. So that it does better. Actually, these here... We need to get a little more power going on here. Yeah, this is, a, this is an old planet. We haven't done any upgrades here for a long time. All right, now we are massively... Because we just upgraded two levels. Yeah, we're not actually that far over power. So that's not too bad. But yeah, we are massively... Uh, we are massively uh, powered there. Uh, we, we, need, we need a little more power. Let's just put it that way. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... All right, so we got more max uh, core energy, durability, and uh, some more laser weapon damage. That's great news. Um, that's going to be a problem. Oh, that's a problem because it's up high. <laughs> I was like, why why is that not why is that not going there? Um There we go. Yeah, I was like, why what is going on with that? That looks so weird. And it should look weird because it wasn't going in the right spot. I 
There we go. And then we'll go ahead and put a little power to it. I'll just use a little power tower. Nothing big, nothing fancy. There we go. All right, that'll start getting all that done up there. Okay, I don't know why how that got switched around. That's weird. And then I need to put some more over here. Bring this around into there. Now, why is that not wanting to come out there? That is a goofy, goofy way to go, but that's okay. All right, so we got that going there. So everything coming in and out of there is all proliferated now. And then I need to proliferate this stuff here as well. So let's see here. So those are all, those are already being proliferated going in. I guess I guess it wouldn't hurt to put a proliferator down here in case anything ever slips by. There we go. Put one there. That's where the stuff going out that side. Wait a second. How? Where the where? That, what? Hey, oh. Wait a second. Oh. That's... Okay, that's weird. That's weird and awkward. Okie dokie there. Still missing magnets. Um, I guess we could... Eliminate that. Reverse that path. Put a proliferator here. And then we can take these. Actually, this, this will reverse the path again. There we go. Those could just go right into there and then come right back out, but we'll need to proliferate those as well. I think I'm going to take one more proliferator. Straighten that line out. Let's have it go right into there. And rise or fall, okay. There we go. Have it go straight down there. That's perfect. And 
Then we're going to take it straight out this way. And into there. Beautiful. Got it. Okay. Now, what is happening here? Why, why are none of these... Okay, so that iron is not making it out past here. The iron's making it there. Actually, what we could do... I could put a splitter down here. I can bring the iron back this way and just have it feed right into here. And that should take care of all of them. What happened? Whoa, 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 what happened here? There we go, okay. Perfect, I was like, wait a second, what's happening here? Okay, so all of that is proliferated now. Here's the magnets down here. So I need to proliferate that too. Because those are already proliferated. But I need to bring that proliferation pane down here to get the magnets going. So let's go ahead and just do a line. We're just going to be doing some nice, some nice spaghetti here for a while. That's okay. Spaghetti's always good. Oops. Oops, hold on. I just destroyed a very crucial part of this whole thing. Take that. Put those on there. And then I can connect these two lines. And there we go. Now everything going in there should now be getting proliferated. Which is fabulous. Okay, the iron is not being proliferated yet. But we can figure that out next time. Because we are at the end of what we can do today because we need to wrap this episode up. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you had a great time today. We do have a lot of, uh, lot of more stuff to do. But the good news is we have a nice Dyson ring going on in our universe or in our galaxy. We have these ray receivers now picking up lots of good stuff and spitting out some... Uh, um, some of these, uh, what are they called? The particles that we need. The critical photons. Good God, I, I, I will get the, I will, I will get that down eventually. I swear to God, I will. And it looks like, yep, we are getting some critical photons going. We've got some, uh, we got graviton lenses here in plenty, so that's awesome. You can see from the, uh, the halo glow there that everything is looking good on this planet. And although our, our, uh, Research is slow. We are slowly but surely researching the universe matrix technologies right now and getting that going. We've got communication control on deck, and that will be what we'll be getting next time, which will give us more bots. And until next time, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you later on.